Hey guys, I've got an awesome exposed module to show you today. It's called Exposed GEL Settings. That stands for the Google Edition Launcher. Of course, that's now been renamed officially to the Google Now Launcher, but it's the same thing. And what this module allows you to do is change up some of the settings of the launcher itself. So it gives you some options that you'd normally get on custom launchers, but you can have it on the Google Stock Launcher. So it's pretty awesome. So it's available through the Exposed Installer. Just go ahead and download and activate the module like you would normally, and you'll end up with this icon in your app drawer. So yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so the first section we have here is the general section and this allows you to do things like hide the page indicator, have the exposed Google Edition Launcher settings actually open up when you press and hold the app draw button. I'll show you exactly what I mean by that in a second. Resize all widgets, allow rotation of your home screens. That requires a full reboot, but I've already turned it on and rebooted to show you guys. Wallpaper scrolling, you can disable that and you can set which home screen you want as a default as well. So let me actually show you how this works. So if I want to hide the page indicator, which by default it's on, you can see it right there, those four dots showing you which page you're on. If we turn this on and we reboot the Google Edition Launcher by pressing the refresh button in the top right hand corner, you can see it gets killed. If we go back to the home screen now, give it a second or so, it will reload your launcher. You'll now see I no longer have a page indicator, so it does work. We have other settings and this is the setting I was talking about by pressing and holding the app draw button to get into these settings. I've already turned that on so I don't need to refresh the launcher, you just press and hold this button right here and boom you're straight into the exposed Google Edition launcher settings, I kind of like that. Resize widgets, rotation I've already got on so I can show you guys this, we'll just rotate the device, you'll see the home screens rotate, it works really well, I'm not sure why Google actually don't give you an option to do this, but uh, yeah you can do it with this module. And then obviously you can disable the wallpaper scrolling and set the default home screen. Next up you have the option to hide the Google search bar, you can also have it automatically show when you're on the Google Now page, so I'm actually going to activate both of these, reset the launcher and show you guys what it looks like. Once this loads back up, you should see the Google search bar is no longer there, so it looks a little bit odd. If we go over to the Google Now page, you'll see it kind of pings in, and then if we go back, it disappears. If you're wondering if, if the voice activation still works when it's not there, it does, I can show you. Okay, Google, there you go, you can see it just pings in. Next up, we've got some home screen grid options. Of course, make sure you actually enable these, otherwise they won't take effect. You can add columns, you can add rows, so you can actually have more applications on one screen at once. And below that, you can do things like hide icon labels. If we turn that on, I'll show you what that looks like. You can change the text color and the text shadow. So uh, you'll see it now, they don't have any icons underneath. It gives it kind of a clean look, but you have to know what each icon is, so be aware of that. And probably the biggest thing for me is you can actually, we'll just turn that back on. And one of the biggest things for me with this is you can actually change the icon size. So everyone complains about the icon size on the stock Google launcher. Everyone said it was just a little bit too big. So this exposed module actually gives you the option to make them a little bit smaller. You can actually make them bigger if you want to, but I don't know who'd want to do that. So we'll change it to around 90%. We'll also change the hot seat icon size, which is the dock, to the same, 90% hit the refresh button, give it a few seconds and you should see the icons are now smaller. So I know a lot of people would like that feature. You've also got options for icon text size and hot seat icon count and that goes all the way up to eight. It also gives you the option to hide apps from your app drawer just by going into this section right here and ticking the applications of the ones you don't want. So you can see I've got browser ticked, bubble UPnP and a fair few other applications. Of course, you will need to restart your launcher again and then you won't see those in your app drawer. So it allows you to declutter your app drawer and just have the applications you want to show up. You've also got options to hide the icon labels and the text color and right at the bottom, you've got the import and export settings so you can back up all the stuff that you've changed. And right the, at the bottom, the last option is a reset so you can have the stock settings back again. So I've been really impressed with this module. It gives you loads of different settings you normally don't get and normally are only available on custom launches. So yeah, definitely give it a shot if you're running the exposed framework. Peace out.